Hello. Today, I'm going to talk about convergent evolution and coevolution. We'll start with convergent evolution. The dictionary definition of convergent evolution is the evolution of species from different taxonomic groups toward a similar form, or the development of similar characteristics by taxonomically different organisms. In layman's terms, this means that two different organisms acquired similar or identical traits to adapt to a similar or identical environment. Here's an example. In Antarctica, a certain species of fish can survive in the freezing waters because of an antifreeze-like substance produced by their genes. This substance lowers the freezing temperature of their body fluids so that they are much more resistant to the lower temperatures that occupy the area. This is relevant to the example because of this fish's distant cousin on the polar opposite of the Earth. This species of fish lives in the Arctic and has the same ability to create antifreeze substance. But how? Its genes that create the substance are notably different from the other species, and these two species of fish parted ways and evolved independently long, long before the antifreeze gene developed in either of them. The answer is convergent evolution. These two species adapted a similar trait over time to adapt to a similar environment. In this case, a freezing environment. Another, more brief example would be the body shapes of whales, many fish, and the ichthyosaur. Though all these organisms have, or in the ichthyosaur's case, had a very different ancestry, they all adapted their environment in the form of hydrodynamic, torpedo-like bodies. On to coevolution. The definition of coevolution is the change of a biological object triggered by the change of a related object. A common example is that of the bumblebees and the flowers that they pollinate. They have coexisted for so long that they are now dependent on one another. Flowers depend on bees to pollinate them, and bees depend on flowers for nourishment. If bees should shift their attention to a certain color or type of flower, then the populations of other flowers of different colors or types will surely dwindle, if not completely die off in that area. Another example, though more diverse, might be that of this of some species of river salmon. In short, several species have come to depend on the salmon to travel upstream to spawn. If the salmon, in a very dramatic case, stopped going upstream to give birth, or simply died off completely and totally, then dozens of species would die with them from starvation. This is because the salmon is a keystone species, or an organism that is heavily relied upon by several other organisms. One can clearly see the differences between these two types of evolution. Convergent evolution occurs when two organisms with few or no relations at all attain a similar adaptation. And coevolution is when two or more organisms intertwine their existence so much that they are almost totally dependent on one another. Thank you.